Welcome everybody back to another episode of The First Look and on today's episode we're going to be taking a look at Bad Boys for Life, third Bad Boys movie in the franchise. Um, I do want to say if you're not a subscriber and you like what you see, by all means subscribe to the channel and also hit that bell notification so that way you are up to date on my videos. Um, also because I do upload videos every day um, and let's get right into it guys. First Look at Bad Boys for Life. So, Bad Boys 1 was one of my favorite movies uh, in the 90s and everything. I loved the chemistry between Martin Lawrence and Will Smith. I loved watching Martin and also the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air in the 90s. So, to see them acting on screen was just fantastic. And then, it took a while before we ever got Bad Boys 2 uh, to come out and everything. But, to be honest, that movie just felt like it was right where it needed to be. It was just as good as the first one. Uh, you could tell it was, you know, Michael Bay all over it because of all the explosions and everything. But, it's still was a good a fantastic movie we're finally getting bad boys for life the third movie in the franchise and everything um for it comes out in january 2020 and it reunites the two characters uh from what i've read of the description of exactly what happens in this movie uh martin lawrence's character is now a in uh in police invest in, inspector and Will Smith's character is going through like a midlife crisis, and a villain that they had killed before, uh, that they had killed previously, um, their his their brother is coming in to basically attack them and force them to get back together. So it already sounds like they're not even together in this movie. They're bringing in uh, Vanessa Hudgens. She's going to be in this movie. She's the only actress actor that I under that I know from the new additions. Um, I know a few of them maybe from something that they've been in before, but not really known. But the thing is, it already sounds like, okay, that these characters have, I know they have evolved. It's, it's going to be, by the time this movie comes out, it's going to be 16 years since the movie came out. Um, the thing is, since Bad Boys 2, so I know the characters would have had to evolve and everything. But the thing is, it just bugs me that, that they're going to be, it seems like they're going to be different. You know, when Will Smith going through a midlife crisis and everything, so what? You know, it just makes me wonder. I didn't see where any of the cast of Martin Lawrence's family was going to be in this movie. So it makes me wonder, did something happen with him? Where he ended up going on to, you know, maybe they got a divorce or whatever. So it's a little bit more information as it's coming out. I'll definitely keep you guys in the loop. What do you guys think of the new Bad Boys for Life? Um, is it something you're looking forward to? Um, just leave it in the comment box below, guys. And that has been your first look at Bad Boys for Life.